Assalamu alaikum. This is Parash and today I am going to show you the fourth part of the tutorial called how to develop a puzzle game using Action Skip 3. So here we are. Let me test the movie first. Here you see I have got all the puzzles here and I do not like this. I want my puzzles and you see there is a problem here too. So I want I want to see my puzzles to be left hand side. All of this I want to be in left hand side randomly, randomly arranged. And I want this main picture to be right hand side. Okay. So so to do so I have to change my stage dimension. So here I will change the width. To 800 and I will reduce the height 500 so so here I'll just double click and go inside my puzzle and I'll just rearrange. So first I'll let me bring my puzzle up. Not necessary to bring it up. I'll just okay. Not like this. Like this way. And then unlock everything. I just want have this one right here I think I'll change it later on select everything just drag it here or here I think it will do and this text box will be here okay and I want all these puzzles, when I start the game, all these puzzles will be randomly here in in a specific time. Okay? If I test it now, you should see something abnormal. Puzzle complete already. And because of, I have put all the puzzles into a specific place. So it is saying that puzzle complete. Okay, now I have to get rid of this. So, I will edit its class. Okay, now here a complete puzzle function that I have executed here, I will just comment it out and save it. And if I test it, it will be alright now. Okay, the time. I will be counting time but puzzle is not complete here now I want I want to have this puzzle arranged here in a specific time let me show you how to do that so first thing first I will input a variable saying var public var I'll name it uh, counter and it will be integer equal to be zero. Okay. And here inside this update function I will increase the counter. Counter plus plus. 
it will be keep increasing if i trace it counter but first i have to stop the timer counter okay stop time if i test it now test the counter is counting continuously because i have increased it here on the enter frame event listener function so now i can use this counter this variable to start my game delay or in certain time in certain time or period you can say i can start i can use this so so let me break this so here i will try function here the end of start puzzle function private function start puzzle void and if counter equality uh, let's say fifty then I want text should be shown here saying ready one two three this type of text so i need to here insert a new layer and it will be top of the border and i will name it info okay and then lock everything and lock this one and i'll copy the previous text here this one and paste it into the center here and now i'll make this text size bigger like 80 If I type here, let's see how it look. One and align it to center. I think it is okay. A border behind the text. Make it a little smaller. Not it just fit. Not fit. Seventy. Okay, I think it is all right now. And I need to have a border behind this text. So, and I will change the color to here later on. Just select this text, convert to symbol. Give this symbol a name instant uh, a name, not instant name actually a name. Info bar. Okay. Press OK. Double click, go inside this text and insert a new layer and drag it below. And then select rectangle here and choose a color. I'd like to have this color.
change the text color black to white I think it's okay now make this bar little bit bigger and just keep it this size uh, if I want to I can change it later on okay and give gradient color linear gradient change it to this and here this okay and change the gradient position it is done I think now go back to puzzle one here text alignment is not right I think just the text alignment it's okay it's okay don't take any leaks make it a little bit bigger okay now it's okay I think I'll change it later on its gradient color and its size now here I'll name this thing instant name info box info box and inside this info box I have text name it time underscore text is not change it info underscore txt as I copied the other text at time text so it was it was showing the same name it doesn't matter uh, I could have keep that name but I change it okay now rename this and here bar okay now <coughs> I initially initially want this when a game when game starts I want this to be invisible so go to its class here when everything is added I want I want info box dot visible equal to false if I test it I should I should not see the info box okay info box is not showing here and now here if counter equal to 50 I want that info box visibility true and I also want to have to showing the info box text saying ready this text okay Let's test it control test when it's 50 it's not showing because it is not showing because I haven't yet executed so copy this start puzzle and execute it here okay test it okay it's saying ready text is too large I think make it little bit smaller text is too large 50 will be enough I think the bar a little bit 
two left. I think it is okay. If I work, I can make it larger. Okay. Now test it. Ready? Okay. Saying ready. And here, not ready actually. When it is counter is 50, I want these puzzles just comment it out. I want these puzzles, all these puzzles to be arranged here randomly. So, and then I will show it ready. Okay. So, to do so, I have to, all I have to do is to just, uh, okay, go into the class and here, as I want this puzzle to be randomly arranged, so I want to declare here a variable saying, public her and the puzzles position will be x position and y position it will be changed randomly into x position and not y position so, so i will type here var x pose integer okay and var y pose and it will be also integer and i will declare its variable inside the inside here okay so here I will declare its variable because every time when I start game it will be randomly randomly arranged into this update function or else it may show some problem so here I will type x expose equal to be uh, let me see expose puzzle expose will be here 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 and the position you see 185 and here 415 I will put it randomly okay and for y here minus 326 and here minus 119 here 1, 1, 10 and here minus 1 to 8. Okay, I will select a random number. Put it uh, where it was. So here and now expose equal to be um, let's say minus 270 plus dot random time minus 250 that means it will be into minus 270 and minus 250 and you can change it later on I'll change it if any problem if I get any problem y pose equal to be uh, 110 or 100 plus the random time minus 200 let's see now here here when counter is 50 50 and here I need to have a variable to twin my puzzle so but first I have to import its class so here I will type import fill dot transition dot twin fill dot transitions dot easing dot time semicolon and here I also need a variable public verb t colon twin okay now when it is 50 <coughs> when 
be discrete I want t equal to be new twin and that would be for for this puzzle p1 okay so twin will be p1 and it will be x twin strong dot is out and it will be start on p1 dot x it will start on its own own place no matter whether it is so p1 dot x and it will be going to x x pose and the time will be 0.5 and true and for y just copy this remember i declared the x pose and y pose and change here to y and p1 dot y and y pose y pose if i test it it should work when it is 50 yes it is working if i test it again it should take another place but it is going outside okay another time okay again okay it is working it is working but I need to change this expose I think 200 and to 200 it's 200 Let's see it again okay I test it again 150 okay I think it's okay and now here come below if counter equal to just copy this counter equal to 55 then copy this and change it for P2 to copy the whole thing paste it 60 change here p3 paste again 65 before should work okay it's working it's working change the exposition number here two hundred and fifty and then two hundred test it I think it will do. Okay. And uh, I want to have sounds for it. Okay. You see, I have, I have a sound, shuffle sound. So I will import this sound. Okay. And when it, sh uh, it changes plates, it will also make a sound. So, real quick. I'll import 
import into library this text up this shuffle sound here you can see oh, shuffle sound where is it gone here and selecting this I'll right click and wave I don't need action script and export it for action script shuffle okay and inside this class here I'll import the sound I'll, I'll declare a variable and then import the sound so here I'll type public bar shuffle sfx or sound whatever you like equal to be new shuffle you see shuffle the name and now copy this and when this one shuffle dot play and copy this one paste it everywhere okay and if I test it now when it is 50 and heard the sound yes see once more now it's more looks like a game okay and now couple is done test it again okay But before shuffling, here I also want if five, I want that info box will be true and it will be saying. See the picture. See the picture. Well, oh, see the picture. If I see the picture is not there because I make I have to make this text. the picture see the picture and they, then it will be invisible again to, um, 25 then the info box will be false and Text to look blank. If I test it now, see the picture and it's gone now. Okay. Okay, it's working. Test it again. See the picture. Okay. one thing see I want to have a picture here a faded picture here also 
so here you see there is also a puzzle picture I want this puzzle picture to be shown first okay because the puzzle are not proper way here you see so here puzzle picture puzzle picture visible equal to false I do not want this I want puzzle picture to be true and when starting shuffle here I want puzzle picture dot alpha equal to be 0.3 that means when I start puzzle picture will be showing and when it shuffle the puzzle picture will be 0.3 alpha test it showing puzzle picture ok not here actually I want when it start here at the beginning okay I think it is more like a game now okay and now this puzzle picture alpha will create problem when the game is complete or game over so you copy this when I can change it later on when puzzle, puzzle picture dot visible equal to true and here I have to paste this code and change this alpha into 1 ok and the problem will be solved and now let me test it again it is working fine and when it is when it is if counter equality 80 this info box copy this line this info box will visibility will be true and it will show me the text saying ready ready test it ready showing ready not now let make it 100 okay now ready Okay, and when counter equal to be 130, this info box will be showing me countdown 1, 0, okay, and when it will be 160 showing me 1 and copy this test it 190 showing me 2 and test it 220 it will be showing 3 
and two hundred and fifty it will be showing go if I test it now see the picture ready zero one two three go and then it will be if counter equality 280 the info box will be showing nothing and also the box will be false See the picture ready zero one two three go and now I can and here you see there is a problem here when I drag it I cannot drop it and the problem is not too big problem okay just here inside this puzzle I have to drag this puzzle up here and the problem will be solved I think but the text field is not showing so info is not showing just put it below info okay now okay ready zero one two three go and now I can easily drag and drop that there will be no problem here okay yes it is not saying completing because I have commented this I have commented this complete puzzle here if I comment it out here and see but puzzle complete and that is the problem so here I will create a custom function saying what is the name of the start puzzle here custom function Start of start game. Private function start game void. If counter get up then what? Get up then this 280 okay so if counter greater than 280 here I want this complete puzzle here here and I also want want this timer is start inside here comment it and copy this one and paste it here and also let me show you first and then change it you see I can still drag and drop the puzzles so also I want this to 
cut it and put it here. inside this function, star view function. Copy, test it. You see, now I can drag nothing. Okay? And when time countdown is done, then I can drag. See? Time's up. I have to increase the time. So, here I will make it 15. Okay. And here I will make it 15. And when game over, here, when time out of control is equal to 15, there will be game over. Okay, if I test it, okay, shuffle, ready, I can do nothing here, okay, I have time, available time, it is done, and when puzzle is completed, I also want when puzzle complete, I want this info box, when puzzle complete, I want that info box showing me Congratulations. Make sense? Let's test it. See the picture. Ready. Drag. This one over here. Congratulations. Oh, and here it's showing me a problem. A puzzle complete. And problem is the puzzle complete is inside that counter function but but when time's up I also want this one to be inside this function I think that will make sense. It is creating problem. And also here, this, this set timeout function, I have used this set timeout function for two purposes. One, for timeout and other for puzzle complete. So, I will say this later on. Okay, and here, ready. If I failed, let's see what it shows. Timings counting. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Time's up and an error.
problem is for this remove event listener. This I have used this duration function twice I think. Here also I have used this duration function and that is the problem maybe. But when puzzle complete, let's see. Let's see what happened when puzzle is completed. When puzzle is completed, the problem is not there. But when game over, it's showing the problem. I think I'll solve this problem in the next tutorial. I'm a bit tired. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And I also need to have some change here. The border. Here, you see, I have a border. And I want this border here. And I also want it convert a movie clip border okay convert a movie clip and then I want to give some effect here drop shadow and if I test it now it will look better you see it look better also need to change color and make it give it this color and blur effect one two two distant will be two okay now ready zero one two three four go now it looks like something better than before okay now it has a better look puzzle complete and I also want this this bar color should be alpha here I will make it 20 and here also 20 so that I may see what is going on behind it. Okay. See the picture. And I also want this to be bigger. If I test it, see the picture, but the color is getting a problem here. So I'll reduce its, increase its alpha, 22, 40, and here also 40. See the picture, ready. go and when it is failed I'll solve the problem later on today I'm very tired right now congratulations puzzle complete okay if I change the sixth color to white to give some gradient effect filter drop shadow now the text will be okay now it's okay i think ready zero one two three and go
so I think you have learned something today though there is a problem I will solve this in the next tutorial uh, all I have to do is to create two set timeout function okay or there may have some problem here when when times up and one th one thing let me show you one thing here copy this one and also here I didn't paste this when remove everything I also want to remove everything into the world and that is the problem I think let me test once more uh, I won't complete the puzzle Here, when it is removing everything and the, the problem arises, no problem, I will solve it. Problem is for the timer, I think. Or set timeout function, set interval, set timeout function. Problem is here. When time's up. I cut this function here and put it here. Remove the listener. Let's see what happened. still there mm -hmm. so I can do this I'll figure it out the problem and I will in the next tutorial I will I told you that in this tutorial I'll create levels but today it's enough and in the next tutorial I'll create I'll solve this problem and I'll also create levels and one thing no in the next tutorial we'll discuss. Okay, thank you. I think you have learned something. Assalamu alaikum.